Hi, my name is Nadia. I'm an acoustic researcher dealing with sound insulation in multi-story buildings at Muel Ventorboda. Greetings from Sweden! Let's say that you live in an apartment and you're very annoyed by what seems like noise coming from the neighbor on your left. Then you remember that you live the down the hall and that the apartment on your left doesn't exist. Still, you clearly can hear the sound coming from the left walls of your room. Has this ever happened to you? Well, this is a real problem. Sound and noise can be easily transmitted through multi-story buildings in assessing these transmission paths can be really tricky. Let's figure out how does this works physically. Let's say we have a two-story house. To understand how we'll transmit sound, we can excite it by dropping a heavy steel hammer on it and create a force pulse. The vibration are then transmitted through the floor construction and result in vibration on the other side that are radiated to the room below. I mean, it's like, if you have vibration over a large surface, that is nothing more than a loudspeaker, so it radiates sound into the room below. This simple model can help us understand why sometimes it's very hard to determine the origin of a sound source in a multi-story structure. Now let's consider an entire multi-story apartment with many sound sources, and that could be a loud TV, footsteps of children running, the voices of your neighbors farting, for instance. These sounds will hit the walls or floors, causing these surfaces to vibrate and directly radiate sound into the neighboring rooms. The sound path is what we call a direct transmission. And unfortunately, it doesn't stop here. The vibration of these original surfaces will also be transmitted mechanically into any other floors or walls connected to these surfaces. And so, these coupled surfaces will also radiate sound into neighboring rooms. And this sound path is what we call a flanking transmission. To give you a simple illustration of this, let's look at this multi-story floor plan. Assuming that we have an emission room causing noise, vibration will not only radiate into the receiving room 1 via direct transmission, these will also be transmitted through the structure downward and radiate through the ceiling in both receiving rooms 2 and 3. This flanking transmission will also occur upward, resulting in sound radiation in receiving room 4 and 5 as well. We cannot completely avoid these snaky transmissions, but minimizing them is possible by taking them into consideration well in advance during the design phase of a building. One solution that is used for lightweight multi-story buildings, for instance, is to separate both wall and floor structures in between apartments in order to minimize the acoustic bridges that facilitate these flanking transmissions. A lot of research is dedicated to evaluate sound transmission in multi-story buildings. My research is dedicated to step sound insulation in lightweight floors as part of the EU project Acotect. I specifically work on the post and beam building system of the Nordic Glula manufacturing company, Muelven. The building system is known as Tre Otta, and it's really an interesting way of building both smart and green. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check the rest of our Acutech channel. Thank you. How are you today? Good, I'm doing good. Great, so what are you gonna to talk to us today? Uh, I'm gonna speak about, uh, uh, I forgot the <laughs> building acoustics. <laughs> It's, yeah, Transmission good. baths in building acoustics. Okay, cool. In lightweight multi-story buildings. Why is this important? Uh, because uh, I'm uh, here. I woke up early in the morning today <laughs> to speak about it. Okay. That's important enough for That's, me. That is perfect. Okay, great. Well, then, I mean, I'm hoping, hoping that, uh, yeah, it's going to be great then.